Um, I'll do some quick introductions. So we'll talk about what's PMA. Um, so that's Sam Edith, our, uh, the, the president, uh, the founder of the Philippine Franchise Association and the father of Philippine franchising. We'll talk a bit about the association. Then Richard Sun, our president, will be talking more about ano nga ba franchising. This is the basics of franchising. As I'm assuming some of our readers don't know even what franchising is. And then I'll talk about Franchise Asia, the largest franchise show in Asia. Now some of you have already talked to the different booths, but you know we'll do it more organized as well later. We'll go around the different booths. So you can continue talking, interviewing, getting different ideas from them. So with that, um, I did want to turn it over. Um, he's the founder of the Philippine Franchise Association, the recognized father of Philippine franchising. He's also my father, um, Mr. Samuel. Obviously, uh, being senior and citizen, I don't have as good a memory of it. <laughs> I have some knowledge of it. Anyway, uh, I want to tell you about the story of franchising. Some 25 years ago, a group of senior and minded people, myself, Mrs. Kimoko, who is now president of the Chamber of Commerce, the father of the there, Tito Ipardo, who was a former uh, Minister of Trade, Minister of Finance, we got together and say, what can we do for this country? They, we are a very, we are a developing country with millions of unemployed and uh, we seem to be instructed. We said what we need is a strong middle class. So we got together with a vision and mission statement saying we'd like to create tens of thousands of small businesses and millions of jobs. That's what every development country needs to be a developed country. So we've done that. We've now over 150,000 uh, small businesses, franchises all over. We have now employed over 2 million people in franchising alone. And uh, after that, we have done that for 10 years. We said, what is the next step? We said, we'd like to be a hub. Okay? So we said, you know, China is becoming the manufacturing hub of, a, of the world, or even Asia. Singapore is trying to become the uh, logistic hub, and Hong Kong is trying to hub. What can the Philippines do? We said, we'd like to make the Philippines the franchise hub of Asia. So we created a very interesting platform called Franchise Asia. Okay, the tagline is Asia to the world and the world to Asia. So we believe there's two Philippines. So we've been doing that consistently for more than 10 years, and it's starting to happen. We've now become really the franchise hub of Asia. We are now uh, important members of the World Franchise Council. We sit in a very strategic uh, committee that plans uh, franchising, the legal framework, and all the other uh, framework for franchising. We are also the Secretariat of the Asia Pacific Franchise Federation of 15 countries in Asia Pacific. And uh, these 15 countries constitute almost 50% of total world population and almost 50% of of the uh, world GDP and it's taking that is the fastest growing uh, uh, area in the world. So, so what has happened today, the reality has come, we are now have uh, uh, young people are a bit more uh, conservative, but I've seen franchise show all over the world to escape from Russia and, uh, and I dare say we have the largest franchise conference and see it in the world not only in Asia. We are going to have more than 700 exhibitors. We will have about 220 foreign brands that are going to come here and try to look for local partners. Uh, we have over 20, 200 uh, enterprising young people who have now started their own business and they're going to start their franchise. So whether you want to buy the newcomers for the, the blue chips, uh, this is a show for you. And uh, Philippines now, one of the reasons we've come this is because Philippines has the largest number of certified franchise executives. You can be an accountant, but you have to be certified as a public accountant. In the franchising also, everybody calls it to a franchise manager, but there are a select elite group of certified franchise executives. We have the largest number of certified franchise executives next to America, who actually the one certified. And obviously, they have done it well. So, the rest of us will happen people, the next generations of franchise leaders are here to tell you more about it. Thank you very much for being with us.
thank you very much for that. Just to, to, just to understand a bit more about franchising, uh, I'd like to turn it over to Richard Sanz. Um, he's the president of the Philippine Franchise Association, as well as the owner of Food Asia, who has been giving that papas and quite a few other brands. We'll talk a bit more about franchising, just the basics of franchising, and, and where the industry is right now. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Live, not live. Oh, uh, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for uh, gracing our very first digital uh, press conference. Uh, I would like to ask, have you ever um, attended any similar franchise press conference like this? Good, good, good. So I, I, uh, I would like to give you a background of uh, what is happening in franchising in the Philippines. Okay, so uh, first, uh, very happy to announce that uh, our contribution of the franchise sector in the Philippines is very much alive, very much bright run. Uh, we uh, contributed 18.1 billion uh, in the 81.1 uh, billion dollars in the economy. Very, uh, it, when you convert this into uh, the GDP, it's roughly around 6%. So uh, this sector, as our founder and chairman Emeritus mentioned, employs about um, one, uh, 2 million jobs. So there's about 200 stores franchise stores, 200,000 franchise stores in the Philippines. So this is how vibrant our uh, in franchise sector. So I want to tell you something about um, uh, the franchise, about franchising, what is franchising. So basically it's duplicating the success. Usually it's duplicating. So if I may ask you, uh, or if I may say, when we are young, you will have time and you will have resources to yourself, right? but you don't have money. But when you are in the middle of your career, you may have uh, money, you have yourself, but no time. Because you are very much uh, involved in your career. Right? But when you are on the retirement stage, you will have uh, money and time but yourself, your energy, medyo uh, wala na. But the good thing about franchising, using the franchising model, you can have all three of this. So that's what franchising is about. It is really sharing of resources. Uh, your franchisor, they have the experience, they have the money, they have the time, they have the people, and we share it. It's a, really a synergy between the franchisor and the franchisee. So what we always say is you are in a business for yourself, but not by yourself. So for example, in Charity, you can uh, use their name. I don't think you will uh, create your own burger chain or chicken chain. You can name it Charity. Uh, you will uh, remember this uh, potato corner. Uh, someone tried to use the potato na corner. And now they, they have a lawsuit. So in franchising, you can legally use the name. And of course, use the system. When you are starting your own business, you will have to create your own system from scratch. If you don't know how to do it, it is really a very tedious process. It might take years, your learning curve is so long. But if you go into franchising from day one, you already use the years and years of experience of the franchisor. Lahat ng learnings, lahat ng mistakes, nakasulat na into the manual. So that's the good thing about franchising. So, uh, yesterday uh, we had a press conference uh, with traditional media. We were, we were asked, ano ba ang uh, uh, success rate ng franchising? Ano ba failure rate? So here you have it. Franchising has a 90% success rate. Ang taas, di ba? Comparing it, when you start up your own business, 25% during the first year will pay. So we're 
room, you, if you are a new entrepreneur, you, you want to go into business, you want to learn into business, where, what do you do? Where do you put your money? So franchising is a very good way to start going into entrepreneurship. So here, let me, as I was saying, our franchise industry is really very vibrant. In fact, when you look at it globally, we are in the top five in terms of franchise brands per country. And uh, you will see USA uh, and Korea are the ones that are ahead of us, but we are slowly catching up with them. So our franchise sector is not only food, but uh, that the uh, misconception is about franchising, usually food that. No, it's not. It's uh, really a mix of uh, food. Uh, here you see in display, uh, I, I'm carrying, uh, have you tried the pure nectar? Very healthy. So if you have service, uh, here in display, Montalvo massage. <coughs> and retail. Retail is uh, 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 more of uh, fashion, uh, garments, and clothes. Then there's also uh, retail generics pharmacy with 2,000 more and more branches. Okay, so that's it about this. Is just a glimpse about uh, franchising. I hope that you can go around and talk to more people to, to interview. The, you have the franchisors here. Uh, you have the PFA board uh, here in our table. So please ask around about franchising. Thank you. I want to talk a bit more about franchise Asia, the reason we're all here. And then we'll end up with a Q&A if you wanted to have a Q&A with the board. And then you can go around and then talk to people individually. But franchise Asia, you know, we're very lucky um, here in the Philippines because the largest franchise show in Asia and the top three in the world actually happens here in the Philippines. We don't have to fly anywhere. We don't have to get visas. It actually happens here. And it's actually a four-in-one show. Uh, there are actually four events, and we, when you say we're the largest, every event is the largest. So first of all, we have the Certified Franchise Executive Program. That's on July 16th or 17th. You know, if you want to accountancy, we're saying you need a CPA. In franchising, that's a CFE. You have to take a few modules, you have to work in the industry. It takes a few years for you to actually get certified. And the beauty is in the Philippines, we have the biggest certified franchise executive program. And actually, we have the largest number of CFEs outside of the US. So we were the first country outside the US allowed to actually certify CFEs. And we get people from six different countries flying in, from Singapore um, to Malaysia, and then quite a few other countries from Thailand, flying in here to take this certification program. After that is the largest franchise gathering of, of franchise leaders and executives in the International Franchise Conference. That's July 18 and 19. There are over 50 speakers and over 1,000 delegates with topics ranging from finance, from operations, to franchising, to digital marketing. This year we have a, a, a great debate. There'll be a big debate about are social media influencers better for the business? or our celebrity endorsers. So that's a big debate happening in a lot of boardrooms, and we wanted to have that debate in the conference. We have family and franchising talking about family businesses. We have Francis Kong coming in to talk a bit more about leadership. But more importantly, we also have a lot of international speakers. Um, well, we have digital experts, um, Zui from Singapore. Um, we have Bill Edwards. He's a recognized guru of launching brands internationally. He brought most of the U.S. brands international. We have Ben Italian, who is our CME expert. He's a mix of a professor, as well as someone who's actually in the industry. And of course, we have uh, Bernie Liu from Pet Shop, as well as uh, Francis Kong, uh, talking about the good leader in the resort. But of course, that all culminates in the largest franchise expo, um, July 20 to 22, over 700 brands. The important thing with franchising is you find the right brand, you look at different options. So this has over 700 brands and over 52,000 visitors within those three days. 
Quezada is Philippine brands. You also have over 200 international brands from 15 countries from the US, EU, Singapore, Malaysia, Japan, Hong Kong, Australia. So we have a lot of local and international brands there. So whether you have a budget of 100,000 or 100 million, doesn't matter, you'll find an opportunity for you. Another thing, and it's an innovation here in the Philippines, we have the only and the largest food franchise food park in the world. Meaning a big, big area where you have a lot of different brands where you can try the food. You know, you can try the food and you can understand more about the business. The beauty with this is in the franchise food park, over 50% of the concepts here are new. We've been doing this for 25 years and we want to make sure every year there's a lot of new concepts. You don't want to come to the same show with the same concepts all the time. So we have the largest franchise food park in the world. We've actually doubled it from last year. There's a few people who were asking me what's the big difference this year. This is the biggest ever franchise Asia we've had. And our team's really be the bosses. So franchising allows you to be the boss no matter who you are. If you're a coffee junkie, if you're a shawarma fan, or just a piolo or a, a cattail fan, you know, you can invest in businesses um, if you're sweet tooth, you have hundreds of businesses you can invest in. You know, you could be a millennial looking for pokeballs, your panda, burger industry. You could just be young at heart. You could get into um, internet cafes. You could get into Tinker House, um, an experiential learning. You could just be a fast food fanatic. It does not matter. You will find the, the, the right business for you in this show. And of course, beyond food, you can get into services, you can get into buy-in centers, you can get into pharmacies, and then all the other things. So guys, when I say we're the largest, we are, we're the largest certified franchise executive in Asia, we have the largest gathering of franchise professionals, and the biggest franchise expo in Asia. These are the dates. Um, this is the hashtag, so anything we post online, please put franchise Asia PH 2018. And once again, we have two hashtags actually, Franchise Asia PH 2018 and Be The Boss. Um, that's it really. Um, I'd like to open the floor now to questions. If, if there are questions from anyone here, um, we have the full board here. Um, we have Alan, who's our chairman, Rich, who's our president, um, Sammy, the, our, our chairman emeritus, we have Yvette, um, Becky, and you have friends. Am I missing anyone? So you have you have you have about a few hundred years of knowledge of franchising here in this room. So so do do 